as well. We have been waiting for you, sirs. Um. Okay. Please write this. I think you'll f note that Kaine is definitely not a sir. Or at least to the best of my knowledge, she's not a sir. Unless she identifies as a sir. I honestly don't know. Still don't know why he walks all the way along here and then walks this way. He can just cut across the floor. I can also cut, it cr cut ahead of him. Please, wait here. With all our non-existent... Why did he light the candles, by the way? Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? Sure. I think I can manage that. I mean, I can't roll. Yeah, there's... there's f Wait, is that food? Yeah. Log in the fireplace. Kitchen, which has nothing in it. Anyway, got the uh, darkness room. I do not uh, although, like truth be told, bit. every room is dark. What's the matter, Vice? Scared? we should head back, yes? Hmm. Perhaps we should. And you got the moon door. For when you want to kick guests off a mountain. And with all this light, you'd think there'd be way less grey in this house, but... Alas, this place is drab. And this just leads to... Yeah, this leads to a bunch of boxes and whatnot. Yeah, that's not a breakable crate. Hey, where'd Kaine go? I knew this was a terrible idea. Haunted manners and the like. Why does no one ever listen to me? Because you're a book? Why the hell are you afraid of haunted manners? Um. I think we go back out now? There's someone in here? You in the fridge, sir? I, mean, I can't open anything. Alright, let's carry What's on, this? carrying on. Picture has changed. It certainly has. That or the butler is very quick at his job. Those paintings look pretty heavy, though. I don't think you could just change them. He obtained the hidden items tutorial. Try not to get turned around. I got turned around. I need to head forward. Moon key. 
as opposed to a monkey, which will throw fruit at you if you disturb it. The moon door? Shades! What foul hole did they crawl from? Otia. Doors. That's a star key. Door, so I need to go this way, I guess. Presumably, I don't know. I don't know how old I actually am. But considering we change appearance, you in part figured that two, out from my footsteps. It's not hard once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I, I only heard one set of footsteps. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. But enough of this introductory chatter. Let us hear your tale. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? I'm fucking blind. Isn't that obvious? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. No! Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about the letters you received. This key here can unlock any door in the manor. So if you'd like my- No, please. Don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our own. Oh, right. Sure. Well, here's the key then. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. It's a big place, and I don't want you to get lost. Well, the key that opens every door, except the, the one marked darkness. Vice, what should we do about Kaine? Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez, remind me to never get on your bad side. Is there any point checking these rooms? I forget what's in them. Is this lovely bedroom? I wonder if any of them have a Gideon's in it. Somebody. Anybody. What's that? A butler. Or at least a remarkable likeness of one. I knew this was a trap. Curse my brilliant intuition. Now, this doesn't look like a trap. If there was a trap, it would have fallen through the floor into whatever madness is below. Uh, I guess we're not allowed in that door. Um, Alright, nothing in there. Can we go in this door now? The answer is no. Alright, let's try this door. There's an, a light key. As opposed to a heavy key. A stopped clock. Hmm. 
Papa. It's just blood. Jeez. Calm down, guys. Apparently you need the light key to get in here. Even though he said the star key would open every door. What is that? Another one? Hmm. What's going on here? Sir? What is this? Oh, this is my butler. He helps me out around the manor. He's a good man at heart, but a bit inflexible. Almost like a statue. Yes, and I do apologize for that Master Emil. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. We're here because my sister received some letters from this manor. Mm, yes, I wrote those letters. Please forgive my impertinence. As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. He suffers greatly behind that blindfold, and I feel it is my duty to help however I can. I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, and so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. Yeah, I, I don't hang around my house very often. Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no real intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. Long have I dreamed of the day we might be able to do something about Master Emil's eyes. I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we... Or at least this lad beside me is neither hero nor physician, so if you'll excuse hey, I'm us... I'm a hero. Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. Then why don't you just... Alas, the location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades. And I lack the skill to combat them. I beg of you, defeat the shades and restore Master Emil's sight. You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Well, you've no more time to waste, so... It's okay. We'll do it. See here, lad. This is no time to play the hero. People need to look out for each other, Vice. Plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. I owe you a debt that can never be repaid. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. My butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests. Alright, let's go use the darkness key. Even though, again, the star key should be able to open that door, but alas, lies. But hey, at least I can petrify your enemies. That's gotta be some help, right? Oh, okay. I gotta go this way. Can't let you do this on your own. So I'll be right here if you need me. Maybe my eyes can be useful for once. Mahes. Leather boots. It's a shame it's probably just a uh, material, but it would be nice if I could equip them. Uh, where are they? There they are. Leather boots. Of excellent, see, excellent construction. I could wear them. Give my, like, armor a boost.
another stopped clock, and a one-handed sword, Blade of Treachery. Let's deal with these idiots first. And these idiots, apparently, since they want to dance. Any other one? Anyone else? There's a mailbox over there. I'll sort that out in a sec. It's locked. Even though you have the star key to open things. over the couch. Thick dictionary, more defense drops. Out of the way, statue. Oh, that's my... Wall. Alright, let's go in here. This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. Bah, I do not like anything about this place. Grimoire Noir? Or possibly some sort of fake Grimoire Weiss. By judging by the black pages, it's probably Grimoire Noir. This book's kind of like you, Weiss. Oh, aren't we clever? As if any mere tome could compare to the wonderment that is Grimoire Weiss. Petrification is a fearsome power indeed. There's no end to this. That's the right. The pages of this infernal book are sharp as knives. Guess you never learned that trick, huh? Well, he has plenty of other cool tricks, such as. Uh. Big boy stab and many stabs. Oh, and the wall. Oh no! I can't petrify it! And I can't stab it. I kinda. <laughs> Can you give us a hand then? Where have you been? Hmm? Lost. Where have you been? Getting stomped by this thing. Help! This foe's strength is beyond measure. What do we do? I am an arcane text, not some manual of combat. You are supposed to deal with such matters. You guys run! I'll hold it off while you escape! Who's this kid? That's Emil. He's the one who runs this. Fuck! This book is a real asshole. She's not even listening. Things too big. It's a heal up. Is it vomiting filth disguised as language? You guys go. This is my fight. I can't ask you to die for me. My, aren't we the bold one? And yet I fear that would be a foolish course of action at this juncture. And besides, we'd never let you do that. Would you all please just shut the hell up? What? I'm just saying, if you bastards want to have a goddamn civilized discussion on the merits of bravery and sacrifice, we can do it later! Is this your way of encouraging us? 
Have we truly sunk to motivational speeches from a woman in her undergarments? I guess so. Oh. Now! Alright, done. Oh, at least I think we're done. I think he blew up. As books are often prone to doing when you slash and dice in a bunch. Vice, this is it! Research report on petrification. Well, well. Dark Whirlwind. Oh no! This passage is written in some kind of code! We went through all this trouble oh, to find it! Except the title, yeah. so... Oh look, Jeeves is... Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing this cipher. Or just write through Ask Jeeves. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Sebastian. Ah, so the servant has a name after all. Which we will never mention again, most likely. Emil, listen to me. What is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand? Give up, Kaine. But you can't give up either. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able to send her more letters when you have the time? I would be delighted, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. Hmm. I saw you exchange some words with that Emil lad. Hopefully, it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. Speak the truth, Azzy! Book? Shut up. Yeah, calm down, Vice. We've got our hands on all the sealed verses now. All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. Then we can finally save Yona. I think for now we just head back to the village. Actually, something I do want to do. I want to change the. I want to try Dark Wallwind. Huh. 
don't know if that was what I was expecting. I was expecting, like, blades to shoot out of me. I just... It just keeps going. I have an idea. Yeah. That's not how I do it. Let's put Dark Blast back there and change this to Dark Whirlwind. I wonder if that will act like a shield. was but a stormy day. The birds took flight. And a little girl yeah, was you need to lie down. sick. Again. Well, not really again. It seems how she's always unwell. Some days are worse than others, though. It won't so. be much longer, I promise. I finally collected all of the sealed verses. Now... I just need to find Grimoire Noir. It sounds dangerous. Will you be okay? <laughs> of course I will. Is this gonna make me better? Is my cough going to go away? Definitely. Maybe. Yona? You... You're... you're not gonna hate me because of this, are you? What are you talking about? It's just... I... I don't want you to hate me because of this terrible disease. Didn't think to bring that Yona, up a bit sooner? I could never hate you. <sighs> I'm gonna go see if Popola has more medicine. Probably not. But there is some more stuff down here. Money to buy medicine and actual medicine. Yona's looking weaker and weaker every day. Yes, but do not lose heart. You are the girl's last remaining hope. Allegedly. Last hope. <laughs> there is another Skywalker. Popola, Yona's cough is getting worse. Have you tried fix vapor rub? Oh, that's not good. Any chance you could give me some more medicine? Please? The thing is, I actually just ran out. Oh, better go get some more shaman fish. I hate to ask this, but can you get me some vapor moss? You'll find it growing near the southern gate. A vapor moss, huh? I'll be right back. Could you get me something that's literally in our village and I could easily get myself? But, you know, nuts to that. Southern Gate. That's this one, yeah. Well, even at this point, I can still drop off mutton if I wanted to. I think I've dropped off all that I have. this item though. Berries. Make a nice meal of off afterwards. 
And vapor moss probably comes from chickens. Because that's where the tr chickens Meal. usually are. He's dead. What is it? Maybe. What? Meal! seem to be sick. I think it's just fatigue. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to run all this way without sight. Uh, are you alright, Emil? I can see it. See what? Hey, just take it easy, okay? The air. It's vibrating. I can feel it behind my eyes. So much pressure. Oh god, there's so many of them. I didn't realize shades vibrated. Get out of the village. Uh, a little late for getting out. Sounds <clears throat> like they're already hit. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go fight King Chungus. They'll be alright. Well, except the guy that was under the door. The shades are attacking! No shit, Sherlock. The hell's going on? Uh, the shades are attacking? No time! Get everyone into the library! And please, make sure Yona's safe. Don't worry. I'll run. Just don't get yourself killed, alright? I won't. Uh, I think I can now go, manage that. We have to stop them before they destroy the village! Dispatch these smaller ones as fast as you can. I'll kill every last one of you! You whelps are hardly worthy of our steel. Come on. Sure Bring everything you got. Pathetic. Even in death, they disgust me. Twisted ring. We didn't even kill hurry, them all. Hurry! Get the wounded to the library. The gate's broken a second time. By this big, big, big guy. Fight me. Feed my hunger. Well, why he's climbing on top of things, I don't know. Just walk through it. You're huge. Dear God, what is that brute? No, no. We gotta take it down. Vulnerable when it attacks. Yeah, a little easier said than done. Consider where this bird come from. I don't seem to be. I seem to be. Ineffectual. Can we lock on this? Closer and make him attack. All right. Let's maybe deal with these clowns and maybe heal up. Seems how I'm fighting it big time. Oh, those only stay up until I cast a different spell. Oh, 
going for like, more of these clowns. Alright, so I guess this guy is summoning dudes to his aid. Right, so let's give this guy a good old punch and rip his arm off, I guess. Oh! And he's probably just gonna go full piccolo. Like, he's huge. As if he can't regenerate an arm and do it all again. Oh yeah! I got a new arm. That other one was crap okay. anyway. That's not good. And apparently it spurred him on to move forwards. A regenerating shade! How will we even know if our attacks are working? We'll just have to keep hitting it until we find out. We can climb up from here. Heal himself, that's something. Climb as fast as you can. Can't catch me on the gingerbread man. And I'm gonna heal again. Perhaps its interior is more vulnerable. So then fire some magic into its mouth. I would if it didn't run off. Like hell it is. Oh, maybe don't fall in the water like an idiot and wash up on shore, and everyone's actually just dead. Actually, that would be pretty funny if that did actually happen. And I'd be a little mad, but yeah, I'm okay. The fact that you fell in the water just wind up. Must be more careful. Way to walk into that attack, I guess. I'm gonna stand on this guy's feet. Why'd you get off his feet? You had the advantage. <laughs> Punch him in the face again. Multiple times. I wonder if he can regrow his face. Oh, he didn't rip it off or anything. This isn't working! So what do we do? Um, get everyone out of the village? <laughs> Hope for a sunny day, all of a sudden? <laughs> Have Kaine jump out of, like, space? You guys having a good time? Huh? Kaine! Um, good time is definitely one way of putting that. Underestimate us at your own peril, fiend. Keep hitting it! At some point, it's gotta start working! Is she trying or, to raise our morale, or, or is she honestly that insane? Or it might not. works for me! Let's go! Heading toward the library. No, Where all the people are. You're almost there. Keep pushing. You're gonna die today, shit hog. Shit hog. Oh, come now, that's not even a real word. Looks like you've learned how to swing that thing. I'm glad you noticed. Uh, I've also learned how to heal when appropriate. Really 
know how to put up a fight, Kaine. Um. Come on, keep pushing it. Slow. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. I just had to shoot it in the face once. Huh? Oh, loot to loot. That, that ought to do the trick. Yeah. Oh, appear out of space again. Oh, you want you want another one? Yeah. How about a bunch of spears? <clears throat> and a bunch more for good measure. Rip your head off. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Mm -mm. You did not like that at all. How about you stay down? Oh no, Shade's in the library. Yona! Shade's in the library. Figuratively, literally. Emil, you okay? Can't keep fighting like this. I have to. There's no other choice. Ah, Besso. And cap oh cones. Otherwise, why did I even come to here? Smoke. Get out of here, Emil! No! I won't abandon these people now. You told me once that my eyes had value and that I shouldn't be ashamed of them. You told me that even a life like mine had purpose. So I won't just sit around and let you fight while I stay behind. Emil, just don't die on me. I won't, Kaine. Let's take care of these shit hogs. <laughs> I like it. We can't let any more shades in here. Oh, uh, a little late for that. Because, well, actually, one, there's windows, so you could easily break through them. They don't <laughs> seem to inc incline to break through windows. They're more of a smash open doors type um, creature ah! Emil is there no way to kill this infernal thing This beast could break them. Works for me. Great. I love basements. Do it. Knock it down the basement. Oh. Shit. It's healing too quickly. Please tell me you have an idea. Using whirlwinds 
Flurry. Do it. Knock it down the basement. I would love to if I could get to its ugly head. And keep in mind that it's also no. We'll just teleport everyone to the basement. Sure. In you go. Give me the key! Right! No! It's only a flesh wound. Hi. I'm... The Shadow Lord. Or possibly the Blood Lord, since he came out of blood, not shadows. He does kind of look Dear like me. God. This is my sister now. Yoda! Not yours. Time for me to go. Oh, and uh... As a going away present, uh, have some shades. What is thy bidding, master? Is that the leader of these creatures? Uh, maybe. Or maybe it's the book. Stay back, Kaine! Seal the door! She doesn't have the key. I don't know electric key is good anyway. Fire would make sense, but electricity? Uh, I suppose it's got metal coverings, so... Yeah, I suppose Finally. that makes sense. Where am I? It's been a long time, Grimoire Vice. Who are you? What is this place? I am Grimoire Noir. I am you. What? What? Do you not remember, <clears throat> Grimoire Vice? We two serve a higher purpose. Enough lies! Stay back! Why do you try to suppress the memory? Do you fear hurting someone close to you? Preposterous! Your denial is preposterous! We are no, mere books created to serve the Shadow Lord. You have no right to forsake him. <laughs> The Shadow Lord? Do you remember our ultimate goal? Our ultimate goal? White and black shall fuse to one and set free shades to the world. Fuse? I mean, they're kind yes. of already doing that. You no, don't need to fuse. I will not. I will never. Your chance encounter with this boy. Your collection of the sealed verses. It was all set in motion by the Shadow Lord himself. No. Lies. The time has come for us to create a new and perfect world. <laughs> we shall become as one, you and I. <laughs> sense you rotten booker you're gonna be sorry maybe i'll rip your pages out one by one or maybe i'll put you in the goddamn furnace how can someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch huh oh shadow lord i love you shadow lord come over here and give vice a big sloppy kiss shadow lord now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us <sighs> i am one with
the shadow. Huh? Bitch. We grimoires exist to create in this world a new and just paradise. We must unite. The world demands it. Paradise. The world demands it. And we are so close to realizing it. Please don't go, Vice. Who's dead after there. him? It's okay. I'll understand. I'll understand if you forget us. But... I promise I won't forget you. I'll remember you. No matter what. I'll keep the memory of Grimoire Vice alive forever. And ever. And that's... That's not all I'll do. You hear me? I'll chase you till the end of time. And I'll bring you back to us. So, please, please. Please come back. Damn it, we need to stop him. If we don't do something, that black book will absorb vice. Black. Wise. Black. Wise. It doesn't matter yeah. if you're black or no. white. We shall unite in common purpose. The Shadow Lord's actually Michael Jackson secretly. Then the world can finally bear witness to our true power. Boys! 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 I can't let this flesh wound get to me. We've got to... Oh hey, can you, can you stop merging with the, uh, that book? That book's <laughs> For the last time, my name is Grimoire Vice, and it is not to be abbreviated. Good to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. <laughs> and you, we meet again. Vice, you okay? I believe I could ask you the same question right now. Impossible. We must unite. We must become as one. I don't like you. And I want nothing to do with you. Besides, I have my companions. You're back! Of course, they're weak, and they whine when I leave. Right! It's almost too much trouble, but they are my friends. I shall fight by their side, now and forever. Vice, thanks. All your magical powers have been taken away. Damn you. Our true memories are still there. How dare you ignore them? Perhaps you should have scribbled them in my margins, hmm? Let us start by dispatching the nearby distractions. Let's also start by using a medicinal herb, which is conveniently bottled. My magic. The fiend has stolen the sealed verses. Well, can we get them back? I'll get them back, Vice. Oh, we got that first back. Actually, what's the point of getting the verses back? We can't can't even use them on Grimoire Noir.
Yo, duck hand. You can now use Dark Phantasm. Pity this book's immune to spells. You got Dark Whirlwind. And now you've got Dark Blood. Uh, what's that leave? Dark Wall? Yes. Oh, are we still missing one? Uh, Dark Execution. We have reclaimed my powers. Good heavens, the roof is about to collapse. Here it comes. Stay back. I can't run now. All right. Oh, that takes care of you. Or Vice! okay. Good job, Fed. Way to get stabbed, even though he's a book. He can't die. And he can float away. Why don't you just float away, Weiss? Twit. You will understand in time. Oh, you could just tell me right now. You're not. Get up! No! I, I got stabbed in the stomach, Jesus. My sister! Nick. She's not your sister anymore. She is my sister. No matter how things unfold, it all returns to us. All of it. Uh, if you say so. Mind being a little less vague? Yona! It is only a flesh wound. Yona! Are you okay? Yona! Um, blood? Stabbed twice. The fight's over. And I think. We are lost. We? Oh, we were Sorry, fighting. Sorry, guys. Dude. I think this is it. For me, too. Kaine, no! I'll quit crying. Look, before I go, we need to take care of this guy. Emil? Y yeah? I want you to. I want you to petrify me. You can use me to keep this thing locked away down there. No! I can't! Kaine! Stop! He's right! It's suicide! You can't do it! Your powers exist to protect others, right? Well, you know, we can just petrify Kaine. the door and leave you be. Just do it, Emil. But... If you don't, it's gonna break down this fucking door! I... I don't know what to do! Do nothing and be annihilated. Well... As much as I like being annihilated, I think I'll... I'll t that'll be a hard pass on the annihilation. No more crying, okay? <laughs> Grow strong. Never lose hope. Vice. Spare me the goodbye, hussy. I imagine it will take more than this to kill you. <laughs> I doubt it. I suppose the whole library doesn't get petrified. Only that door, and her specifically. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Oh, Maybe you want to fix no. the hole in your stomach. Wait for me. Gaine. And shoulder. I... I swear... Also, I seem to have not petrified anything else. Somehow. Uh, yeah, it might be a good idea to save. <clears throat> Five years later. It was another cloudy day. Oh, and uh... That guy is just dead. His lover looking over her. As these knob jocks show up. Also, you've... ...changed and gained the power to uh fall from the sky as well. Don't let your guard down. I guess that was a tad obvious. Um, you may now use two-handed swords and spears. Spears you should have been able to use anyway because they're they're pretty light. I guess two-handed swords would have been a bit too heavy. Um, let's see, up for items, left for two hands, right for spears, and down for swords. Uh, let's uh, actually go to a sword though. Oh, I can't apparently go up there. Also, those aren't my s those aren't the spell abilities I had on before. Um, give me dark lance. Give me. I guess I'll set up whirlwind still. Inner force play. Weapon switching, weapon quick switching tutorial. In case you didn't get it the first time. Got guard resistance or oh, hodo. Here's another poor victim. Damn it. When will this stop? Oh, uh, when everyone's dead or when you kill the Shadow Lord or whoever's in charge of the shades. It's dangerous here. You should get back. Uh, he's dead. Goddamn shades are even attacking the village now. And armored ones, no less. This village of yours seems to be changing for the worse. It's all the Shadow Lord's fault. That one day changed everything. Five long years. 
It's been five years since they took my sister. I spent every waking moment searching for her. We didn't bother fixing the, the gates. Fuck that. This world is winding down. Between the shades and the black scrawl, there won't be anyone left soon. My life now, and my purpose, is hunting shades. Someday I'll find a clue that will lead me to the Shadow Lord. I believe that. I have to. Uh. Popola called for you, yes? Yeah. We lost a good deal of time with that. Yeah. Well, it's not like we could have just left them to their a murder. On. Oh no, Popola is sent for us. We bet we have to go do that first. Um, good luck fighting the shades. The roof's still broken. Floors are ruined. An old what's her face is still a statue. Look at you. I think you've grown even taller. Mm-hmm. Yeah? It's hard for me to tell anymore. But you haven't changed a bit, Popola. What's your secret? Probably medicinal herbs. Like a face mask of them. I see your flattery skills are improving as well. No, it's true. You look the same as the day I first met you. Okay, now you're just embarrassing me. Anyway, here. This is from Emil. Hey, it's a me, Emil. A safe been acquired for the salon. Are you and Weiss are getting along all right? Is he still using a big words and making everyone feel dumb? I bet he is. Anyway, I recently stumbled upon some records that might help us in curing Kainé's petrification. Would you mind coming here to take a look? Uh, thanks. I'll be waiting. Well, well. Perhaps the time has come to save Kainé. <sighs> I take it this means you'll be leaving the village. Uh, we've been doing that anyway. Sorry. I know the shades have been rough lately. It's okay. Go. Just be careful. Oh, you know, you'll be dead. Alright, I think... Be able to get some replacement herbs. Oh, uh, I guess we've already reached the limit. What do you want? Oh man, I'm in a heap of trouble now. Oh man, I'm in a heap of trouble now. The missus is gonna kill me. What's the problem? Well, I was distracted while I was cooking and sort of started a fire. Now I have to repair the kitchen and all my equipment. Can't make the repairs without a bunch of parts, but the only place you can find that much scrap is in the junk heap. Yeah, that's bad news, all right. Want me to go for you? You sure? You'll have to bring in a whole bunch of robots and oh. take it from them, so... We are pretty good exactly at bringing safe. bots. All the more reason to entrust the task to us. This won't be our first time in the junk heap. Just let us know what you need. Thanks. I really appreciate this. I need one memory alloy, ten titanium alloys, and ten broken motors. Got all that? Wow, that's a lot. But okay, we'll be back in a while. What is he gonna do with all those broken motors? Hey, you have- No, first I've heard of it. They don't take a lot, but when they strike, it's always food. And in some ways, that's our most precious commodity. Sure. Maybe I can help. Well, I'd certainly appreciate- Do you have a plan? 
Or are we going to walk up to every person we see and shake them until stolen vegetables fall from their pockets? Let's try asking around the village. Eve's in the village. Ah, just the person I wanted to see. Do you have a moment? What's up? Our water wheel is on its last legs. I'd like to shore it up, but the job is a little beyond my skill set. This is a wise thought on your part. That wheel is a machine of not insignificant age. Better to repair it now than wait until it fails completely. I suppose we'd all be in trouble if it broke. So what do we need? Replacing the axle and the paddle boards should suffice for now. I believe the strange thing store in facade should have everything we need. All right. We'll head there when we have a minute. Thank you. And while you're gone, I'll track down someone to do the actual repair work. One could call it a sign of the times. Rip, we've been dealing with a wave of robberies lately. Better keep a close eye on your purse. Do we... do we even have purses? I hear it's two thieves working as a team. A robbery? I did catch a glimpse of a pint-sized fellow moving suspiciously through the shadows. Maybe he was involved? Judging by what we found, we're dealing with two thieves. Most likely a couple of kids. Remember the pair of brothers that loiter near the water wheel? I fear they may be hiding something from us. Let's go have us a little chat. Despite the fact that we've never been to the water wheel before... Um, incidentally, how the hell do I get there again? I think it's up and over and around and down. Yeah, here we are. Are you two the ones behind the recent robberies? Robberies? You must already know if you're asking like that. Your tone betrays your guilt. Confess. Confess now, lest the rage of Grimoire Vice fall upon you. Okay, we did it. My brother and me. Why? Because Dad told us to. Your own father demanded that you steal. This guy sounds like a real piece of work. Where is he now? Probably in the tavern. That's where he spends all his time. Got it. Because heaven forbid he do any of the stealing himself. Uh, can I just jump off here? Hey, you have a pair of sons? No. Huh? I have a pair of daughters. Was it you? You're forcing your own kids to commit crimes? Crimes? No, no, it's, it's not like that. I just... I just told him to go find some food for the family. Now shut your mouth before I... before I shut it for you. Bunch of no good meddlers. This isn't Scooby-Doo. Calm down. Uh, our time is wasted on this drunken scoundrel. What a sad excuse for a father. How shall we explain this to the client? We'll tell him the truth. Then we'll figure out what to do with the kids. Hmm, what have we got today? Which job should I give you first? Um, these, I think these are all got in the same... Got a job for if you aren't too busy. It's a guy. Looking for something? Look, just go ask him, alright? I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. Sure. Um, clients this way. So let's sort this out. Did you find the culprit? Yeah, but it's complicated. It's not really complicated. A pair of children driven to steal by an abusive father? Well, I certainly didn't expect this. They shouldn't have stolen from you, but I don't think they're entirely at fault here. Agreed. I'll talk to the other shopkeepers and make sure they understand. Thanks. Oh, and I also think we should get them away from their father. Not sure who could take them. Folks are barely getting by as it is. 
But let me spread the word and see what we can figure out. Ah, yes, your fee. Well, a shop owners passed the hat and came up with this. I hope it's enough. Three thousand gold. Using uh, better than enough tools of thievery. Unthinkable. I can't believe this happened in our village. Things are more desperate than I knew. If we hope to restore the lives of the villagers, we must cull as many shades as we can. Um, I don't think shades breed in that sort of manner. Welcome. We've got some new weapons in stock. Um, acts of beheading. Despite the fact that this is clearly a sword. And sunrise. Oh, what the hell? Hang on. What's the weapon? Blacksmith's on. I'll buy them at some point. Mostly because I've kind of already forgotten what is and isn't available. Hodel! I already have as many of those as I can carry. Alright. Guys, and that's the last of you, unless someone spawns here. Oh, they do. All right, that's that cleared up. Differences here. Where did that enormous ship even come from? Well, apparently, it's a ship. We've got the latest in weapons from uh, Spear of the Usurper, Phoenix Dagger, Vile Axe. Again, not an axe. in the oceans of sand. You can catch it over near the wharf. Sure. Fish that live in sand. That 
that makes good sense. Oh, can't go that way. There does seem to be a couple of quests over there, though. Excuse you mean me? Yeah, she means you, dude. Yes, yes. People have been talking. They say you're a very adept freelance agent. I'm a jeweler by trade, you see, and I'm currently in search of a precious gem known as the Mermaid Tear. Have you ever heard of it? I don't know much about jewelry. Sorry. Nope. Well then, let me tell you. I believe the tear to be located somewhere in this very town. I know I'm close. So very close. This seems like more than just a business transaction for you. You see to the core of me, sir. The mermaid tear is one of my family's most precious heirlooms. My uncle was the previous possessor. But upon his death some 50 years ago, the jewel vanished without a trace. Huh. During the course of my research, I discovered that he once sent the jewel to this very town. Well, if it's that important, I'd be willing to help. A thousand thank yous, good sir. The assistance of a local such as yourself will surely mm. make the search that much more fruitful. I'm not really a local. I live in a different village, but sure. Not a problem. Who's this guy? Hey, I know you. You're that kid who takes any job. No matter how weird or demeaning. Not really how I phrase it, but okay. I've got a merchant ship that needs some repairs. Think you can round up some materials for me? I need five logs, 20 dented metal boards, and 10 stripped bolts. I'd ask if you're up for it, but I know you are. I should say no, just out of, like... Spice. That really seems nasty. A trading business, huh? Is something the matter? No, it's just that... Well, I've never left this area. It's got me wondering what it would be like to visit another country. I'd love to take Yona on a trip like that sometime. And someday you shall. I... The mermaid tear. Never heard of it. The lighthouse lady would have been the one to ask. She knew everything about precious stones. But she knew everything about the lighthouse. That old woman, is it? Yep. Perhaps a visit to her home is in order. Oh, it's you. I've heard a great many stories about you. Making quite the name for yourself, hmm? Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, no need to be so modest. After all, I may have a job for someone with your particular talents. Oh, my only talent is finding shit and stabbing things. I'm listening. I need you to retrieve three crates of particular import from a ship that was wrecked at sea. This cargo has likely washed ashore on all the far-flung corners of the world, so it will be a task of some difficulty. Can I count on your assistance? Sure. Sure. Nope. Ah, oh, excellent, excellent. Oh, and whatever you do, you must not unseal the cargo. Well, now I'm curious. Why can't I open it? It's full of dead bodies. I was shipping some rather unique products. If you were to see them, it might place me in something of a dilemma. Hey, it's your money. You don't want me to look? Fine. Did you see that huge ship? I want to explore it! Alright, I think at this point... 